It's a beautiful concept. It's funny, it's weird, it's sci-fi, it's action oriented, but it's also soap opera-esque because there's all these subplots. And it's just a very, very funky, interesting, and, and immersive story because you are the woman who is experiencing everything. You can look everywhere around you and you are experiencing having been frozen for 30 years. We don't know whether this is going to be something that's going to be the new way people look at, at narrative films or have experiences. Um, it's a very subjective, personal thing, this. I mean, this, you're not in a, in a theater with another 200 people experiencing something at the same time, all laughing together at the same jokes. This is happening, you know, in, in very uh, isolated experience. I mean, it's a, uh, uh, who knows whether this will be the wave of the future. Can I actually only see this whole sort of 360 there's a really cool room around me and it's giving me, it's as if you're looking into a computer except a computer screen, except um, all my options are right here. So I'm going VR gallery and you just touch the side. I just feel like um, I want to call you mommy. Oh, I'd like you too. It just feels like nothing's changed since I last saw you. Okay. To have that stamp of approval on it is going to hopefully bring in Defrost 2, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, um, and you'll see the further adventures of, of Joan Garrison, of Dr. Tremaine, of, uh, of Beverly, of um, our whole cast. Made in